Greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Paul, your wicked uncle Squinty. Today, the Delacchia Vanilla. Another nasal snuff review. Let's make sure the camera is pointed relatively okay. I don't know, maybe tilt it down just a hair. All right, guys, let's see what we've got in this tub. This is the 25 gram tub of the Delacchia Vanilla. According to the description, this contains a small amount of menthol. And I understand why they would put menthol in this snuff. It's just to open up the nasal passages a little bit, help you better appreciate the added aromas, the vanilla, etc. It smells like plain Delacchia tobacco in the tub. That kind of medium brown. Now, it, this is moist. The grind is somewhere between medium and fine. But the moisture is somewhere between medium and moderate to high. It's just kind of in the middle. If I push this down properly, you might be able to get an idea of the color. So there you go. That would be the color of said snuff. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much in the tin. It's, you know, the Delacchia base tobacco. There's nothing wrong with it. A little bit farmy. Because this is so fresh, there's a tiny hint of ammonia here, but not much. And I'm very reluctant to air this for very long because I don't really want to lose the moisture. So we'll have to see what we have to see. I'm going to warm up the pinch. We're going to talk about my Amastrina by Bernard review from Day Before Yesterday. Uh, I did that review. It took me six takes. Now, the reason I have to do that is I can't edit video. So if I make a mistake, I have to start over from the beginning. Okay, and I do. That's what I do. And somewhere between take number five and number six, I inadvertently grabbed the Brazil Doppel Fermentier instead of the box for, for the Amastrina. But by that point, I wasn't really testing the snuff on camera. I was just repeating the information I had learned about the snuff from earlier attempts. So eventually I will figure out how to delete videos on YouTube and I will redo it. I'm sorry for the confusion. So I'm warming my pinch here in hopes that I can get something akin to vanilla out of this. Yeah, it is, even though it's moist, it, it is awfully fine. And I'm a little bit concerned that this is going to be a tough sniff, a difficult sniff, but we'll try it. Here we go. All right. There is so little vanilla in this, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm hoping it'll develop in my nose, but I am not real sure it's going to. It burns just a little bit on the intake. I'm not sure how the nicotine is going to be on this. I'll let you know. Hey, I pointed out with some stuffs, it's good to go outside in the cold and use your nasal snuff, particularly Schmalzler's, for instance. Some of the other, like the Rene Rosinski's, often benefit a lot from being outdoors. Now, this morning, the temperature is about, in Celsius, it's about three degrees below zero Celsius. So it's getting towards 20 or so, 22 here. We're looking for a high today of right around freezing. So uh, it may be a little cooler than that. Be a good day to go out, but I, was pointed out to me by a, a viewer, and I, I want to thank Brian for bringing this up. If you have a heart condition, and even the act of snow shoveling puts your heart at risk, you might want to not do the nasal snuff before you do anything vigorous out in the cold. I don't want you to have a heart attack, so please be careful with that. You know your body better than I do, and in some of your cases, that's probably a real good thing. Uh, but you know, just be careful. Remember that nicotine is a vasoconstrictor. That means it shrinks the diameter of your blood vessels a little bit. And it is also a heart stimulant. Now the combination of a higher heart rate and that restricted blood flow through those capillaries, veins, arteries, that's gonna raise your blood pressure. Maybe not a lot, but it will raise your blood pressure a little bit. So. 
please, if you have any concerns about your heart health, especially, maybe don't use nasal snuff and then do something vigorous outdoors in the cold. Just a, a little health tip. Still waiting for the vanilla. If I had an old-fashioned wristwatch, I'd be doing this kind of gesture. Uh, maybe I need to take a little more. The pinch I took was quite small. And uh, today is kind of a stay-at-home day. I should be getting my ass out there going to a grocery store, but with all this COVID crap, uh, it's disheartening to me. And it's difficult to shop. Uh, as a blind person, I need help finding things on the shelves. And people say, well, do the online shopping. You know what? I've tried. Uh, two of my local grocery stores here do offer an online website where you can order your groceries. The problem is, is that it's six hours for me to put together a 30-item order. Uh, it's much easier for me if I could just go to the store and say, hey, stock person, can you help me find A, B, C, and D? Uh, and a lot of stores are reluctant, understandably, to do that. Uh, even though I'm I'm very careful with the hand sanitizer and the hand washing, I always mask up, even though the masks do absolutely no good, and that is current scientific knowledge. It's I don't see how they could be doing good if I have glasses on and my glasses are fogging. Well, that means my breath is coming out the top of the mask. Also, people who wear masks, uh, they spend a lot of time touching their face, trying to adjust the mask. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a preventative for COVID, even if you have clean hands. Uh, the CDC and the World Health Organization have gone back and forth a couple of times as to whether or not masks are beneficial. And they're saying again, oh well, yeah, they're beneficial, but they're not a panacea. So I don't know. I don't know. This is warmed up again. Let me do another pinchy of this. Again, cheers. Yeah, there's a little tiny bit of vanilla. You especially get it when you first sniff it. But it's mostly that standard Dalakia medium brown base tobacco scent. A little farmy, a little scent of the stable. That is not to imply urine or horse shit. I don't want to confuse you. But it is kind of a rusticy smell. Um, it's pleasant. Nicotine on this, I know from experience, is going to be moderate. Uh, just from the first pinch that I took, I can tell you that the nicotine on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is nada and 10 is way too much, uh, it's going to be about a 5. With my tolerance, it's about a 5. With your tolerance, if you're less familiar, less uh, addicted to nicotine than I am, you may rate this higher, maybe a 6, 6.5. But for me, this is dead mid-range in the nicotine. There is no vanilla here, guys, or almost none. Now, the menthol is not confrontational. It's not harming me in any way. I'm going to have to go find a handkerchief pretty quickly here because I think the forward drip on this is going to be pretty intense. But the throat drip or back drip is nothing. You, you don't even taste it. It doesn't irritate the roof of your mouth or anything like that. Yeah, I don't like this, guys, and I'm not going to buy it again, but it's not disgusting, so it's not going to get a one. I tell you what, this is not a snuff that I will ever buy again. Uh, it's up to you if you want to try it. Maybe your schnoz will be more sensitive to whatever vanilla is there. But for me, this is kind of false advertising, and I think Delakia needs to tweak this one and... Find a way to get more actual vanilla scent into this. Right now, it's it's a good enough plain snuff. It is disappointing as a vanilla on the squinty scale, where one is disgusting and five is delicious. This is a two at best. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. From the dank basement, I am your wicked Uncle Squiddy again and continuing to wish you all happy holidays. And if you keep Christmas, Merry Christmas.